the Bible this morning, and I came across this verse that Paul wrote, where he says, if you are unmarried, that it's good to stay unmarried. Okay, Greg, uh, that, that is an interesting verse. And? Well, at first I was like, what? I'm totally getting married someday. Well, I know. I mean, you and Muffy are pretty serious. I know. But then it hit me. What, what hit you? Like, I totally understand why it's good to stay unmarried. No, wait a minute, Greg. Oh, wait. So you understand what Paul in the Bible meant when he said it's good to be unmarried. Yeah, absolutely, Wilson. It's like this. If I don't get married, then I get to choose whatever movie I want to watch all the time. Hey, Greg. I brought Sleepless in Seattle. I thought we could watch it tonight. Oh, but I thought we were going to watch an action movie tonight. Oh, but I really want to watch a love story. See what I mean? I would never have to watch another chick flick again. Greg, I'm not sure that you fully understand well, what this Well, see, now, movies aren't the entire reason you should stay unmarried. Well, I'm glad you understand that. Yeah, of course. I mean, food is another reason. What? Food? For instance, ordering a pizza. Yeah, I'd like to order a large pizza to go, please. Toppings? Oh, yeah. I want pepperoni, sausage, bacon, ham hot dogs, kielbasa, pork chops, onion rings, and french fries, please. Hey, Greg, I got out of work early. We can have dinner together now. Oh, can I cancel that last order? Yeah, can I have one large pizza? Toppings? How about extra spinach and kale, please? Or how about eating at a restaurant? I can't wait for this food any longer. I am starving. Yeah, I know. Me too. We were so busy at the shop today, I forgot to eat lunch. Okay, folks, here's your meals. Uh, we have the works for the gentleman, a uh, half-pound hamburger, french fries, and to wash it all down, we have a peanut butter milkshake. Okay. Yes. All right. And for the lady, we have a yummy salad, water with lemon. All right, folks, enjoy your meals. Oh, those french fries look incredible. I'm just going to have just one. And that milkshake. Oh, that looks incredible. I'll just have one sip. You know, you ordered off the same menu as me. See what I mean? If I remain single, I could eat whatever I want, and I wouldn't have to share it. Well, that's a good point, Greg, but do you really think that that's the whole reason why the Bible says we should remain unmarried? No, of course not. Oh, good. I was beginning to think you didn't quite understand the passage. Yeah, of course I understand it. I mean, there's a lot more to it than just food and movies. I mean, as a matter of fact, the next reason is probably the most important. Oh, good. You know, I, I'm glad you finally realized... Bodily that... functions. What? Bodily functions, Greg? Yeah. I mean, think about it. The, probably the most important reason to stay unmarried is bodily functions. I mean, just to think about it, if I, if I remain single, I, I'd be able to leave the toilet seat up every time. into the habit of putting the toilet seat down, you know, but I definitely would not be able to stop the habit of my bedtime air biscuits. Air biscuits? I'm almost afraid to ask. Well, 
Good night, wife. Good night, husband. Oh, Greg, why couldn't you get out of bed to do that? Well, I was all nice and warm in the covers, and I just thought I'd make it a little bit warmer. Gross, it smells pretty awesome. Here, wait. Oh. Get a whiff of that. Oh. <laughs> you know, Wilson, I think I'm going to add that to my list of why I should get married. <laughs> Greg, um, do you really think that this is what the Bible had in mind when it said that we should stay unmarried? I mean, did you read the whole passage? Well, no, I stopped that part where it said to stay single. I mean, it seems pretty self-explanatory. Did you not learn anything that I just taught you? Greg, you know, I think if you take the time to read all of 1 Corinthians 7, I think you'd find the real reason what Paul had in mind when he suggested that we stay unmarried. Are you saying that my reasons weren't real? No, I mean, your reasons are real. I just don't think that's what Paul had in mind. I mean, his reasons were a little more spiritual. You see, if we're unmarried, um, we can spend all of our time doing God's work and thinking about ways to please Him. When we get married, we can still do God's work, but now we also have to take time to please our spouse. So if you're unmarried, you can be totally devoted to pleasing God. Well, I'm single now. That's right, you are. So listen, right now, you can use your gifts and your time and be totally devoted to pleasing God. You know, that's a great idea. And that's what I'm going to do. But first, I think I'm going to order pizza and get the toppings that I like. Oh, hey, that's a great idea. And hey, if you add fried pickles, I'll join you. You got it, buddy. Hey guys, I got off work early. You want to go get some lunch? Uh, no, 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 no,